Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and if you started the 2023 with depression, anxiety, just not knowing what is happening in your life right now, this is the corner. So clearly, this is my first time doing this. I'm recording it with my phone, this video, with an Instagram filter. I have no idea how the audio is going to work or not, but I just have this inner deep necessity of talking about stuff that I don't think no one around me is talking. Um, I want to talk about my depression. I want to talk about what it feels like to spend the New Year's Eve in a hospital because you're having a mental breakdown, which was what happened to me. I want to talk about depth. I want to talk about how hard it is to have friends as an adult. I want to talk about how everyone thinks it's normal that you hate your jobs and that's just the way it is. And this is what the corner is about. So if you remember when you were in your school, and I don't think this is a common practice anymore, but this idea that if you do something wrong, you are pushed to a corner, the corner of shame. And I just think that we need more people in the corner. We need more people that is sent there because saying stuff that nobody wants to hear and because they're saying it when nobody's expecting them um, to, you know, talk about this stuff. And I just think that I'm tired of pretending that I feel okay and I'm tired of pretending that there are stuff that should be totally private and, you know, that we should only talk about the weather, the food, if you have kids, your kids, um, which nothing against kids, but you know what I mean. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if, I, if this video is going to drive to people if people's gonna like it then i even feel a little subconscious about you know my english accent but i refuse to believe that all of the things that have happened to me in the past couple of days are meaningless and i also refuse to accept that when you say it aloud i'm depressed the answer immediately is, well, everyone's depressed. Um, and yeah, that probably is true, but the fact that it's common doesn't make it okay. Um, I think we need to talk about this, because talking about something is the first step to change it. What I hope about this video is that if you feel some of the stuff I'm going to be talking and discussing, um, in a sec you you know that you're not alone you know that you're not exaggerating that you're not crazy and that it is valid to feel this way but it's also not okay that you feel this way and that you deserve to be tired of feeling this way um and that i wish i could be with you i i wish i could be with a community um but i I'm really isolated right now for different reasons, so um, I guess this is a place that I wish I had a couple years ago when I never knew how depression looked like, how depression f felt like, um, so. So, 2023, um, I did an exercise, I put 2023 and then I went to see the news on Google to see what kind of articles appeared. And uh, the most common results were the 10 technological trends you need to follow in 2023, six reasons to get excited about fashion in 2023, how to get the, the job of your dreams in this year, and of course, um, how to get the body of your dreams. And I am so tired um, as someone that just had a crisis 
couple days ago to think about the ideal version of myself, to think about a list of goals is just unattainable right now. And the problems with this narrative of happiness is there everywhere. And there's this, like you can't avoid to think what's wrong with me, maybe I should have a list of goals, maybe I should start to reflect on what just happened last year, what do I want this year, but um, what I want to share with you is that all of these discourses, all of these articles, all of these invitations, some of them might be well intended, but most of them are trying to fulfill this um, narrative of progress that says that every day should be better than the last one. Every year should be better than the last one. And we're moving to perfection in history. And if you think about it, all of these um, messages are always about change, right? It's not about um, keeping up with the things that you're doing. It's always about a new something, right? A new you, a new job, a new style of, of, of fashion. And of course, everybody, I am a full supporter of rebranding yourself. I identify as a lesbian and part of the queer community. So be all the versions of you that you would like to explore. But I also want to reflect on why, what is this, or what is the origin of this impulse to change every beginning of the year and, and why do we feel so pressured to move on and and if you feel sad if you feel alone if you feel disappointed if if you feel ugly if you feel like a loser if you feel lost of course I wish that you could stop feeling that I, I wish I could stop feeling some of the you know, emotions I'm having, but I guess what's really toxic in my opinion is the idea that you need to have it figured out now. And somehow, if you don't have to figure it out, it's because you don't have objectives in life, you don't have ambitions. And that's the first thing I, I just want to say. I'm, I'm totally against this narrative of progress, narrative of change, um, especially when most of the things that might be wrong in our lives, those things, they're not going to change in one month. Um, so trust your process and, and trust your timelines. I, We are immersed in different calendars at the same time. Yes, we have the year that we share, but you also have your own timeline or what was the last time you stopped drinking, for instance, or what was the last time that you cleaned your apartment, or how many days have passed since you came out. You know, everybody has different timelines. Everybody's living different calendars at the same time, and we should celebrate our own beginnings, our, our own endings, but especially the continuations and the process we are in the middle of. The second thing i like to share today with you, and of course, I would love to know what you think. Let's be friends talking about our depression, but this is not the moment to change if you do not have the strength to do so. Um, and it's okay to not have the strength to think about what is it that, it that you need to improve in your life or what is it or what kind of person you want to be to be the best version of yourself whatever that means to you um, I study uh, I'm a PhD student I study memory studies and one of the things that I enjoy reading is everything related with trauma and how trauma changes our understanding of time. 
and there's something called uh, the pressure of healing basically um, once a subject uh, unfortunately has experience of trauma society is gonna do everything it can to tell you that you need to overcome your trauma right like you need to heal and you need to heal fast and this is a really um, complicated issue because I'm not saying that you need to remain in your trauma you need to remain I am, I am not saying you need to remain in your pain especially if you want to get rid of it but I also think that the experience and and the way each person live their trauma is so different that we cannot expect that after one month after one year after an entire lifetime you heal my first girlfriend she told me once you need to inhabit your pain and it, it actually sounds better in spanish um tienes que habitar tu dolor so it's kind of like the pain became some kind of a space became some kind of a fortress and i and i think about that a lot because sometimes i feel like one of the most painful feelings is not the sadness is not the loneliness the frustration the isolation but the guilt that you feel these things um, why am I feeling like this? Why can I be normal? Why can I be celebrating the beginning of the year? So I want to tell you this and I want to tell this to me because I'm in selfie mode so I'm looking at myself right now. You will heal. You will feel better when you need to feel better and when you're ready to embrace that feeling. So, coming back to the idea of this is the moment to be the best version of yourself, this is the moment for change, this is the moment to start from zero, maybe, or maybe this is the moment to just keep resting, or maybe this is the moment to keep exploring the depth and the intensity of your, of your sadness, because it is yours and it tells something about you and and about the compassion my feel for the others look i don't understand why we feel sadness i don't understand why whichever being created us whichever circumstance brought us here why we cannot be okay all the time but the only answer that I can have right now is that maybe by feeling all of this sadness we can understand other people's sadness and we can become passionate towards them so that's that's the only thing I can came that, that I can figure it out right now but this is not the moment of change if you don't want to and it's okay if you're okay if you don't want to if you don't want to think about what you need to change it's okay if you just want to be a burrito in your bed, just, it's okay. And the last thing I want to share with you is that, of course, ra rationally you understand, right? Rationally it's like, yeah, I know it's okay, I feel bad, I know it's okay that I'm not in energized 2023 uh, mood, but I still feel this kind of, isolation and weirdness and in in my case I mostly feel fear I'm afraid of this year I'm afraid of every beginning as someone that deals with anxiety um, I read a book once that really changed me um, it was a historic book about the quote unquote discovery of America and but 
What was different about this book is that it was from the perspective of artists and engravers that recreated the first uh, visual documentation of the new colonies. Um, and the part that I really like, it was about one artist that painted one of the first maps of um, the Indias uh, of America. And um, I don't know if you know this, but through colonial times, most of the artists that were doing these reproductions, they weren't in the colonies. They were in Europe and they created um, their drawings and their pieces based on recollections from travelers and um, so, it, so it was it was really interesting that dynamic of painting something you don't know. If you ask me, a different video should be made about <laughs> how um, tools that we consider to be super objective as maps from the beginning have been, uh, you know, uh, full of subjectivity and literally not facts because the the, um, the artists weren't there. Well, anyway, besides um, how maps were used to manipulate which continent is bigger or not, uh, that's another video, but um, this artist, the, the scene that I remember quite clearly is that he's kind of like in the port and he's just watching the horizon and suddenly he realized he was going to be on the map that he painted. So he's looking at the sea and he's realizing that all of the immensity that he imagined that led him to do um, the map that he was going to travel through it. And he just froze and he decided not to do it. He just couldn't. Like when he, when he was when he was controlling the, the pencil, when he was controlling the brushes, when he was controlling the the spaces, he, he fell in control, but actually going to that immensity was um, something he couldn't handle. And when I look at the calendar, if I close my eyes and I'm located in January, I feel all of the months that come kind of like that sea, that vast sea that the artist was not, you know, able to, to go after. And I'm scared. Um, I'm scared of what everything means. I'm scared that if I don't have this leaf of colds, maybe that means that I don't have colds in general. I'm scared that if I started the new year in a hospital, that maybe that's an omen of what's coming for me in the year. I'm, I'm scared that that if I end the year sad and I start the year sad, maybe I'm going to be sad the entire year. And you might feel the same. You might feel that somehow things should be different. The start of the year should feel different. But besides how relative all of these marks and time are, I'm also going to, I want to tell you that you're not alone in your fear. I came to realize that if hope is the things with feathers, fear is the thing with roots. And the deeper you explore your fears, the scarier they are. And this is why you need to do therapy and you need to go uh, hand by hand with your people you love, with, with your talismans, your centers of strength but if you try to resurface a little it's less scary so don't think about 2023 don't think about january february march don't think about january i don't even know what day it is just think about this moment when you're alive and you're watching this video so this might sound problematic but I think the best version of yourself is the version that's still alive 
especially if you suffer from depression and if you had thoughts of not wanting to be here um, and yeah of course you might think that the best version of yourself is a version of yourself that enjoy life that has willingness to do the things you want to do but I just want you I just want me <laughs> to have compassion with ourselves and understand that maybe what we need to be celebrated is not the beginning of the year but the continuation of our life in this society that produces trauma for fun and yeah that's what I wanted to say if you um, are here after all this video thank you for listening to me thank you for be patient with my really low voice this is the level of energy I have today this is how I feel right now um, this is how my eyes look after crying for a while um, I want to tell you that I wish I could be with you that I think Jesus got it wrong is not you need to love others as you love yourself is by loving others you love yourself because you discover that you have that ability to love inside and I want you to think what do you love right now it doesn't need to be a person it can be a song a movie a fandom um, safe warrior known so I'm sorry for the audio video quality, for the video quality, for mumbling a lot. I don't know, I'm, 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 I feel a little shy right now, but this is the corner. I hope it's the beginning of a space for, I don't care, 10 people. That's enough for me. And also I'm doing a podcast. I'm just creating a podcast right now, which is also called The Corner. And the first chapter is all about my experience in the hospital on New Year's Eve. And if you want to listen to it because maybe you had a similar experience because you want to learn about it or just because we need to have this conversation, listen to this conversation, I appreciate if you give it a try once it's ready. Take care of yourself and keep loving whatever it is that you're loving right now.